Moving Rocks, Unit 6, Chemistry. Rocks can be broken up into pieces by weathering. These pieces of rock are called rock fragments. These fragments are often moved away from where they were produced they can be moved by gravity, water, and wind. This movement of rock fragments is called erosion. Gravity makes the fragments fall down slopes. Wind blows tiny rock fragments about. Rainwater washes rock fragments down slopes. Once rock fragments get into a stream, or river, they can be carried away. The smaller rock fragments are carried a long way. The larger ones are left behind. Here are some questions for you. How are rock fragments formed? How are rock fragments moved? The speed of a river or stream depends on how steep the slope is and how much water is in the river. A fast-flowing river can carry large rocks. A slow-flowing river can only carry small rock fragments. When the slope of the land gets less steep, the river flows more slowly. Some rocks then settle on the bed of the river because they are too heavy to be carried. This is called deposition. The deposits build up and form sediments. Questions? What does deposition mean? Explain why some rock fragments are carried further than others. When you stir up a mixture of different sized rock, fragments and water, the fragments spread out into the water. When you stop stirring, the fragments settle with the heaviest fragments at the bottom and the lightest at the top. Different layers are formed. The same thing happens when the rock fragments deposited by rivers. The sediment is deposited on the bed of the river or on the seabed. Over millions of years, there are changes in what is carried and deposited by the rivers. The sediments at the bottom were deposited before the ones on top. In the diagram, on the right, you can see the different layers of sediment that have formed the different sedimentary rocks. When the rock fragments are first formed, they have sharp edges. When the fragments rub against each other, the edges become smoother. This is called abrasion. When there is a sand storm, the particles of sand are moved by the wind at high speed. When they hit anything in the way, they damage it. Sometimes sand is mixed with air and is blown at buildings and pavements to clean them. This is called sand blasting. Questions. Where there are layers of sediment laid down over many years, 
which layer is the oldest? Give a reason for your answer. What is meant by abrasion? Summary. Rock fragments are moved by gravity, water, and wind. Rivers carry fragments to the sea. Smaller fragments are carried further than large ones. Layers of mud and sand build up at the bottom of the sea and form sedimentary rocks.